by Samuel and how he was used to speak the words of God. He was God's mouthpiece. Our craft for today is something that we use that makes our voice louder. Can you guess what it is? It's a microphone! To make this craft, we will need a toilet paper cord, some aluminum foil, a small ball, or if you don't have a small ball, you can just bunch up scratch papers together until they form a ball. You can also use some tape or some glue, some scissors, stickers, I have here dinosaur stickers, and some colored paper. But for this craft, I am going to use black. Now, let's begin. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get my small ball and cover it with aluminum foil. I suggest that when handling aluminum foil, you always ask help from your mom and dad because there are sharp objects in the box. So I'm just taking a sheet of aluminum foil and now I'm going to cover this ball with the foil. Oops! Let's use the shiniest part of our foil. And I'll make sure that it's tightly covering the small ball that I have. When you're done, it should look like this. Next step is we are going to attach this ball to our toilet paper core like this. So I'm going to use my scotch tape. I'm going to take a long strip of tape and just tape this ball over. So we're sure that even if we shake our microphone, the ball doesn't fall off. So I'll add a bit more. Doesn't it look like a microphone already? The next thing that I want to do is I want to cover the toilet paper core with black. To do this, I'm just going to measure out how much paper I need. So it's only up until about here. I'll fold it like this. And I'll use my scissors to cut. And now I'm going to wrap this around my microphone and I'll use some tape to secure it. <gasps> it looks so pretty! So I'll make sure that my wrapping is tight enough so it doesn't unravel. I'll take a long piece of tape to secure. Of course, if you have glue or double-sided tape, you can use those as well. I just use tape because tape is excellent in securing this ball on this toilet paper core. And now it looks like we have a microphone. But we're not done yet because our microphone is looking a little bit plain. And that's where we are going to use our stickers. Stickers over here. So I love dinosaurs. That's why I'm going to decorate my microphone with dinosaur stickers. And I think I'm going to start on top. I'm going to make a border of dinosaurs on top. Of course, if you have other decorating materials like paint or maybe glitter, glitter is going to look excellent with the microphone, don't you think? Or maybe if you have crayons or metallic markers, those are going to look excellent. So I now have dinosaurs all over my microphone and I'm going to place a border of dinosaurs here at the bottom. Oh, look at this dinosaur. It's so cute. It's a little hatchling. And I'm now done with my microphone cap. Have you ever used a real microphone? It makes your voice louder so more people can hear you. Let this microphone craft remind us that we have been called by God to share His Word to everyone. Can you say everyone, kids? Great job! It doesn't mean that we need to talk in a louder voice though. It just means that we want as many people to hear what we have to say about God. 
And that's it for our craft.